Hey everybody, I am here today with Donnie Bailey. Say hi Donnie. Hey. <laughs> We're gonna have a fun little competition today. We, we are at a property where we found tons of stuff so far. Um, Revolutionary War and uh, 18th century stuff, 19th century stuff. We're gonna hit this back area, which we haven't hit much because there's just so much modern garbage. And we're gonna see who gets the best find of the day. We're gonna have a nice little friendly competition. It's on. It is on. I'm gonna run my full tones program, uh, which if you've seen my videos, you probably know it pretty well. Donnie, what are you gonna run today? I don't know. Uh, probably I'll start out with, with my pitch program. I love it. And then I may go to uh, Sid's Pro from England. All so, right. Yeah, Sid's Pro Hot. We're going to have to do a video one day on the pitch program that yeah. you use. I yeah. think that's uh, really interesting. All right, so let's get to digging and uh, may the best man win. All right, go here we go. First dig of the competition. Let's see what we got. That's a high one. I'm running 28 kilohertz, solid 86, pretty solid on the XY screen. See what we got here. Getting some iron in here now too. Interesting. Would you look at this? This is what you would call an O-ring. Now, I'm pretty certain that just about any competent Revolutionary War soldier used this O-ring for a variety of reasons. I can't even get into it right now to tell you what these things might have been used for. But uh, this is my first entry into the competition for the best find of the day. GoPro stop. All right, I got a nice mid-tone, it's at 50. Um, we're gonna dig it and uh, maybe it'll be some old gold. Uh, something really cool to find, let's see. See, perfect straight line. Out of the hole, sounds different again now. <laughs> Look at this. Now, I bet a lot of people don't know what this is, right? This is what uh, soldiers who didn't have much money look. Silver leaf. Wow. Soldiers' homemade silver leaf right there in the home. Revolutionary War grenade paint. <laughs> That's that gonna could be, be the tough. find of the day. That could be tough to beat, man. Oh man, we're on fire today. So uh, keep watching, let's see how it plays out. GoPro stop. So here's something interesting. It was a banging 94 signal. Not even sure what it's made of. Could be lead, it doesn't have that lead look to it, but it's got the lead feel to it. Let's, uh, let's see what Donnie sings, thinks of this thing. Hey Donnie, not sure what this is. Kind of looks like a angry face or a witch's hat. <laughs> I can't tell if it's lead. It has a lead feel, but not a lead look. Rang up is 94. What do you think? Wow. It does have something on it. I think it's like a hat badge. Yeah, it'd be a pretty heavy hat badge, right? <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, I, I wonder, uh, I don't know, it kind of looks like here's the eye and here's yeah. the grumpy face. And it's got a hat. Right, 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 right. All right, I'll have to check this out a little bit more closely. Let me show you what I just found. Uh-oh, let's see what we've got here. Found the butt of a gun. <laughs> you did? Yeah. 
<laughs> I bet he smashed that one over a British soldier's head. Right, exactly. Or a Hessian. Right. Could have been either one. Wow. Yeah. Not bad. That's a pretty cool find. Yeah. All right. Nice. Well, this obviously gave out a banging signal. No doubt in my mind that this was used by a Revolutionary War soldier to dig trenches, fire pits, trash pits, what have you. Good piece of history right there. All right, I want you to listen to this. I got a nice high signal around 88, so I just peeled the plug away. And in the plug, iron, but still in the hole, good target. So I was able to get through that iron and still pick up the good target underneath it. So let's see what it is. Okay, I think this this is probably half of an officer's badge. It would have been full circle, uh, but we're not seeing that shape right now because it was cut in half almost on purpose, I would think. So, uh, all right, I'll enter it into the contest and see how we do. Go for a stop. I almost dismissed this signal because it was so banging. I just thought it was junk. Look at this nice buckle. Flat on this side. I'm gonna go over and show Donnie. He just dug a wheat penny, so uh, I think this puts me ahead. <laughs> so I wonder what the age is. It, it looks pretty old to me. Hold on. There he is over there, looking for more wheat pennies. And I'm gonna come show him this guy. Hey, Donnie. I think I found something pretty good. Oh, wow. Wow. Flat on one side, but it's got a... Oh, it's a shoe buckle. Yeah, right? Yeah. Wow. Almost dismissed it. Beautiful 96, and it was like just around all this foil and aluminum. Oh, wow. Colonial shoe buckle. Oh, that wins the competition right there. So far, we'll see. I did find a... Uh, I didn't get to show you. I found a... a, a, a Oh, my thing's disconnecting because I'm so far away from it. I, uh, uh, Revolutionary War trench shovel piece. So uh, <laughs> we yeah. got that to contend with. Wow. But yeah, this is, this is nice. That's it's got some nice detail on it. Right over there in the junk. Yep, right in the junk. I may have to so, join you. Yeah, so right by that shed over there. Um, where we know there was a bottle pit at one point, but just so much junk coming out of there. So I'm going to keep working it. Wow. I can only suspect that this is a colonial era fancy poodle molding out of lead. And he's got all the telltale signs, the poof at the top, the little legs, head looking down, stubby little tail. Fancy poodle all day long. Right, so I have what I would call a curious signal solid 87 and as I move away it gets to like a 96 and a little bit more faint so it could be two targets close to each other or it could be one big misshapen piece of metal really only one way to find out is to dig it so let me let you listen I'll go for the bigger sounding purer sounding target first and then we'll investigate the second one if there is a second one so there we go that's a nice 87 solid line on the XY screen and as I move a little this way it squeaks up higher 96, but still a straight line. So let's dig here first. Okay, so I see the first thing here. This ugly piece of copper. Let's see if that other signal is still around though, and we can chase that. Put that back. It is, but... There's also an 87 still in here. Now I gotta investigate that again. And then this one's a little choppy. That's iron for sure almost. Let's go back and investigate this. 
Yeah. Okay, Donnie, I think it's got something good. It is more of that pipe. Okay, but wait, let's go investigate Donnie. He is uh, in the small wooded area over here. I found a shotgun shell last week, or last time we were here in this area, so I know you're in a good spot. You led me to it because of your... Yeah, the shoe buckle. shoe buckle. And that's early 1700s. Yeah, so what do you got? Oh, yeah. Can we see anything on that yet? I, I, I can't. Maybe, maybe if I get... In the I almost room. thought like on the other side I saw a bust, but then I saw New Jersey, definitely colonial color. Heck yeah, man. That's thick. Yeah, it's a little bit thick. I bet you you'll get some detail it's off of it. It's a jersey. Is it a jersey? It's a jersey. No. Yeah. Yes. It's a jersey. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. There's the, there's the shield. <gasps> Without a doubt. Look at that shield. Look at that it's my shield. my second one. Nice. Oh, I, my God. I have not found, and all my friends make fun of me. I have not found a state copper in over three and a half years. Wow. Dude. I broke my state copper drought. Dude, that is so awesome. Oh, I can't wait to see what variety is, but that shield is clear as day. Clear like as it, day. It's like an inch. Dude, every time I want to give up on this property and say we've done it all. I know. It's just, know. there's more stuff. A jersey. <sighs> Colonial shoe buckle. Early 1700s. Yeah. Late 17, like 1786. Yeah. 87, I think, yeah. 87, yeah. Yeah. It's 100 years apart almost. Holy moly. Your buckle. Yeah. And this copper. Oh my God. He's like an inch deep. I am just publicly going to apologize to my friend James right now, who is, isn't close enough to come out for these like two hour, three hour outings that we have here. Um, <laughs> but we'll have to get you on a good property, I promise. Uh, wow. I think it's going to be nice. Look at the front. Oh, yeah, dude. That's in good condition. You know what? Because we're back in the woods here. Yeah. There's no, um, probably no fertilizers, nothing. Oh, that's going to come up nice. Be, be careful with that. You probably just have to rub it gently. Yeah. And then I, I see letters. I see, wow. I that's see the plow. Yeah. 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 Oh, awesome. But now it's a competition. Now it's a competition. <laughs> oh, wow. Look in the sun. Let's see if I can get it in the sun. Let's see what we got here in the sun. Yeah. Well, you're definitely, I mean, I can see it from here, the detail. I don't know about so much on that. So, I mean, yeah. And there's the shield. So put there's the there. shield. Yep. Heck yeah. A jersey. Jersey copper on the board. How wow. many times are you going to post this one? <laughs> million. Good. All right, there we have it. There we have it. I didn't think either of us were gonna find much to enter, but I think we both did. It was on. It was on. So, in case you're curious, I am entering my colonial shoe buckle. What are you gonna enter? Early. Well, his is early 1700s. I'm pretty sure. You know, we'll, you know that's that's a great find. Yeah, I'm pretty excited and by it. And it's ornate too. Yeah. Yeah. Put a picture right up there. And I'm going to enter my first state copper in three and a half years, over three and a half years, a New Jersey, 1787. Nice. And by the time we film this, we'll probably get uh, Don Hartman to give us an ID on the on the on variation on that. Yeah. And uh, so vote. Um, if you're watching this and I know what I'm doing, I'll put a poll up here. You can vote in the video. And if I'm unable to do that, just vote in the comments below. Cool. Thanks for watching. We'll be back. Thanks.